I'm Casey, editor of GoBankingRights.com, here to help you get a head start on your spring cleaning by putting some stuff for sale on eBay. Now, eBay can seem pretty intimidating at first, especially if you've never sold anything, but it's actually really simple and it's a great way to make some extra cash if you do it right. Now, I'm going to start with the most important part of your listing, which is the image. Believe it or not, eBay has tens of millions of listings at any given time, so the pictures you include are going to make or break your chances of standing out. Now eBay lets you include just one image for free, which is known as your gallery image. Any additional photos you want to include are going to cost a little bit extra. However, if you take a really good photo, then you don't have to worry about including additional images. Now keep in mind, if you are skilled at photo editing, you can probably take two pictures and combine them into one image. I know we're all fans of our smartphones, but when it comes to taking your eBay picture, it's a better idea to go with an actual digital camera. This is going to give you a much clearer and accurate picture, which will just entice more buyers. Let's say that you want to sell this flute on eBay. When you get ready to take your picture, make sure it's on a plain background that won't be distracting. Also cover up any windows or sources of light that could cause a glare. And if your item includes a special feature or detail that would make it especially enticing to buyers, for instance the fact that this flute comes with a case, make sure that's in the photo too. Now this is where your Photoshop skills can really come into play. If you want to include a detailed shot like this one, copy and paste it into the original image. Now finally, when you're transferring your photo to your computer, make sure you crop it. No one needs to see your household clutter. And in addition to taking a really great photo, there are several other things you can do to make yourself stand out as a seller. When choosing a title for your listing, put yourself in the place of a potential searcher. What kind of words would they use to find your item? Try to incorporate as many of those words into your title as possible. In order to determine a good starting price for your listing, compare it to similar listings that have bids. This will give you an idea of what people are willing to pay for it. Keep in mind that a lower starting price is definitely going to attract more bidders, but you shouldn't set it at a point that's so low you wouldn't be willing to accept it. By setting a reasonable starting price, this will allow you to skip the reserve, which bidders don't like to see anyway. Remember that you're responsible for packaging and shipping the item that you're selling. So that means in addition to postage, you're also going to have to factor in the cost of packaging materials like tape, boxes, or envelopes. Bidders won't be turned off by an additional shipping and handling charge as long as it's reasonable. Don't include a return policy. Buying and selling on eBay works a lot like a yard sale, so as long as your listing is truthful and detailed, there should be no reason for anyone to need a return. PayPal is by far the easiest way to send and receive payment, and it's also the most popular. However, if you don't want to use PayPal or you want to include more options for your buyers, money orders and cashier's checks are also acceptable. Just make sure that you never, ever accept a personal check. Remember that the more you buy and sell on eBay, the more positive feedback you'll receive. Gaining good feedback is the best way to establish yourself as a trusted seller on eBay so you can start making extra cash all year. And to learn more about generating side income, visit GoBankingRates.com. And finally, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of our spring cleaning videos coming up in March.